What up, what up, what up? We're back, week five. Standing in what will be 8,000 square feet of gym floor space. This space will be where the cafe goes. Underneath this mezzanine is where our recovery center is gonna go. Hey, what's up? Week two of the build class, you can see that looks totally different. Totally gutted now. This is gonna move over to the other side, but through block wall, you can see, so that we could get all the excavation uh, machinery through the door. All right, so you can see we made major progress in the last week. They're just about graded and ready to start laying concrete. They're going to put in, it's going to be all black stained. Oh, you can see the hole pretty clearly now. It's pretty phenomenal. Okay, so right now we're standing in the bathroom, that, which literally looks like we're in a prison. We're going to fix that. Next week, we're going to be talking about landscaping. Massive massive amount of concrete is going in. You can kind of see where it's starting to cure up a little bit. We gotta pimp this for sure. I'd even put a couple tall trees here. A big five, five and a half footer, the red light that like lights up behind it. So same thing. Upgrade for all of the recovery, uh, massive trench that they dug, the cafe. They're starting to do a little more demo on right now. About another four weeks, it'll actually look like a gym, so. What up, what up, what up? We're back week five and we got concrete and it's starting to look a little bit more like a gym. You can see a lot of the HVAC units and whatnot, um, the, the air ducts and whatnot are coming in. You can see over here too, they're, they're starting to get the air ducts going for the recovery. So one of the other costly things is when you're putting in saunas and you're putting in red light therapy and things like that, you gotta have a way to pull that hot air out of the room as well as control the temperature. And then we're gonna enclose that wall. So this main air duct right here is gonna pull to some mini split air handlers that are then gonna go outside that are then gonna give us what we need from a uh, cool, cooling and climate control standpoint. The facility naturally stays really cool as you can see, we got you know 40 foot ceilings. We got these cool um, units that that pull and push air up and down. So when it's hot in the summer, they'll pull the air up, and then they use these big vents at the end to pull it out. And so we really don't need to run AC, although we do have swamp coolers in here. So for those of you who are current members, you know how freaking hot it gets in the current facility in the middle of summer. Kind of like it; it gets us extra sweaty but it uh, long-term isn't that great for running a gym. People don't like to sweat their butt off when they're not working out. So behind us, that beautiful lady in the red, that's my wife, and she's the reason that this place is gonna aesthetically look like somebody took thought to put it together, because you don't want me doing that. And so they're working on some finer details today on just finishes of what the showers are gonna look like from tile to fixtures to flooring to paint color. Uh, as well as the cafe upstairs, getting all those materials dialed and picked out so that we can make sure it looks legit when it's all said and done. So th these right here, these are examples of the showers that are going in. So this is all the new piping for all the shower fittings. So there'll be one here, there'll be one here, there'll be one here, there'll be one here. And then this will be a, a laundry utility room, right? Cause this is what we're standing in right now. It's technically the recovery area. And so we'll need a place to wash towels and do all that kind of stuff for the recovery area. But what's cool is these showers, there'll be a door right here that kind of flows in between. And so you'll be able to use the showers here. And then if you're in the recovery and you need to come out and shower, you'll be able to do that as well, which is pretty sick. All right, that's a wrap for week five. Next week, hopefully we'll see a little bit more progress, see some walls going up. The turf will be all laid and excited to keep showing you guys what we got going on. We are exactly 12 weeks away from finishing construction, which means our grand opening will be about the last week of July, the first week of August. So for those of you who haven't taken the time to hit us with Pursuit, talk about the grand opening specials and get entered to potentially win a free year membership, get on it.